This is Chrissy Idaho Painter here on Paint Live TV. And I'm Journeyman John. And today we got another really cool project behind us. We're gonna be doing a metallic grit finish. From who? From Boero Coatings. From Boero Coatings. We've got you know, several of these videos we're gonna be doing and you can check them out on our channel. But um, today, today is... Um, we're getting gritty. gritty. We're getting real gritty here. So stay tuned for this video. <laughs> that's, that's how we're gonna land it. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> Okay, so we've already got our wall pre-coated, and what did we, um, what's our base coat done with, John? So this is the color Dovetail, it's a Sherwin color. Uh, this was undercoated with uh, Duration Home Matte. Yep. So uh, if you watch some of the other videos, it's going to be important that you find the right sheen for these metallic coating pro uh, products. Uh, you wanna go with a matte or some sort of eggshell type of sheen because if you go flat, it's going to absorb a lot more of the product than you want it to absorb. If you go with like a semi-gloss or something that's a higher sheen, then you're gonna have product kind of skidding around and moving. And we don't want that. That makes me very sad. That's not gonna be a good thing. So it's already done, it's already dry. We're gonna begin doing our metallic grit finish and this is gonna look really cool. And we also have a special guest, um, the pro from Boero, all the way from Chicago. Ed Maddenly is here to um, make sure, you know, we mind our P's and Q's when and we're we doing do it. This. Yeah, we do it right and, and do not it wrong. Right. Yeah, cause that, no. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he is a cruel taskmaster. Yeah, so stay tuned. <laughs> Sorry, Ed. Okay, John, here we go. We're, um, our wall's prepped, ready to go. We've got um, our coating, metallic grit. And I think, you know, this is a little bit different than metallic suede and, um, and also the aluminum. We're gonna random roll mm -hmm. um, and we're going to random trowel. Yes, so we're working in a team of two here. So Chris is going to have the trowel and he is going to have a, a six inch microfiber roller. I am just going to be getting the paint up on the wall for him, and then he's going to do the gritty magic. And so um, microfiber rollers, make sure you just uh, pre-wet them, get them ready to go. And we're, I'm going to be using, this is like 6, 10, um, 6 or 10 inch, somewhere around that size. Um, you know what's between it. 6 and 10? Somewhere. It's Eight. <laughs> It's anywhere from three inches to 12 inches, I can say that. And they're flex trowels. This is once again, um, a trowel designed specifically for the product. So if you want it to come out right, um, highly recommended to use these on um, the Boero flex trowel. And this is um, Boero metallic grit. So let's get busy. Okay. And, um, okay. 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 It's okay. time to start making some money. Fine. Fine. So you got to put it on really, really thick, heavy, um, heavy and thick. He's going to roll it on. I'm going to random roll behind him and start doing some trowel. We're gonna give him some space here. Yeah, give me some space here. Or he's gonna really start getting irritated. You don't wanna see me irritated. So I think uh, on this wall, we've purchased two gallons of the product. So um, this, unlike the, uh, the suede, uh, this takes a lot more product in the aluminum. The aluminum um, goes a lot farther too. So I think I'm almost about ready to, if you're working alone, even if you're um, as a professional, as a team, I uh, highly recommend putting glaze into the product, gives you more working time. Very light pressure on the trowel. Barely just hitting the surface. It's gonna just work my magic with this trowel. If I need to, you know, wet my roller just keep loading up you don't want your roller to dry out and start you know pulling product off the wall so I'm gonna make sure I just keep my roller saturated here all right Chris quiz time quiz time what is making that scratchy noise when you are doing that troweling magic so that's um that's good trivia here so and um, we'll talk about that. Micro glass beads um, in the product here is making that scratching noise. And unlike the metallic coating, if you, um, you can actually, 
you'll run your trowel and you can actually pull it off you know, all the way down to the paint itself, um, the coating and create you know, what we call peekaboos. The micro grass beads actually keep your trowel you know, away from the surface and keep you from um, having those kind of like peekaboos. So right there, I, I probably moved a little bit too far ahead of Chris. Probably should try to keep it at about a three foot section at a time and then work back into what he's troweling so that we can keep a wet edge. He's Chris and he's full of magic, so he'll probably end up catching up to me anyways, but it's probably a good rule of thumb to try to work in about three, three to four foot sections at a time. And um, what would happen if you didn't random roll this stuff, John? So the, the problem with with not random rolling it or it comes down to patterns if you end up creating a pattern that is repeatable that people can see then the moment that you leave that pattern it's going to stand out to the eye so the goal is if you if you work some sort of random roll random troweling pattern on these walls it, you're it's a lot more forgiving um, and it's far more likely that you're going to get away with a wall that looks good because having perfectly repeated patterns with these kind of products is probably next to impossible. It's looking pretty dang cool it's here. Looking real fine. It's looking mighty fine. John's doing a superb job rolling. Oh, that is so nice. I mean, just look at him go. Those words of affirmation and encouragement. Uh, oh. Look. Look how forgiving that is. And I think that's one of the great things about these Boero decorative finishes is if you mess up, you add a little bit more to it, you can touch it up. It's very, very, very forgiving when it comes to application. But like we said, the key to that is make sure you've got a random roll pattern or when you go back to touch things up, you're going to have some issues. I'm just, what I'm looking for here is kind of looking for anywhere where he's rolled it, I want to knock it down. I don't want to leave anything behind that is um, not knocked down with my trowel. So I'm kind of looking around for um, some stippling, um, kind of just making sure my pattern pattern is random. Um, it's looking pretty good. And as I start rolling again here, I'm going to work just a couple inches back into what he's already worked on so that we can keep that wet edge flowing. And he can work that trowel pattern right back in. Or at least that's what they tell me. You kind of just want to, you know, really slop it up into, you know, your edges here. And then, and then I'll just random back roll it out of there. And I'm putting really light pressure on my roller once again, not heavy pressure. I'm going to random roll back into, you know, where we left off here. As a painter, this is the the fun stuff. This is what is really cool to do. I really like doing this. These are the kind of finishes that I think they, they're kind of a value added thing to be able to present something like this. If you're a professional painter to your clients, um, it really is an easy piece to add in. Um, I know when we've talked to Ed from Boero Coatings, he's talked a lot about how uh, they're starting to see a lot of this in commercial applications because it's cheaper and just as durable as commercial grade wallpapers. Um, like I said, really easy to touch up, really nice, deep, uh, dynamic look to the coating and fun. It's traveling really nice if you can see some of it, like um, the undercoat through it. But if you see too much, like if you see maybe like 20% of the undercoat, it's, it's about just about right if you allow the nap like if you really allow it to stipple like this not very much pressure that that makes it so much better all right there we have it it's not dry but we got the finish on the metallic grit if you want to know what the color is it is dorian gray it is so that's the color it took us less than an hour to roll and back trowel mm -hmm. um, that on, right? Yeah, and I think if you're a team that is working and doing a lot of this, you can start bringing that time down. Um, but you know, for a look like this, and granted there are probably a dozen different looks that you could use to come up with with this, probably more. 
uh, you know, we're probably about a gallon of product that we used on this wall. So yeah. that's one full nine by 12 wall, nothing breaking it apart. Um, yeah. It's a lot of product to put up there. Yeah, it quite looks a, great. Yeah, it looks absolutely amazing. How much would you charge for that wall? I think if we were doing just one wall, like a feature wall like that, you're you're going to be about a hundred bucks in product. I, I would say you're probably oh 450 to 550 for a feature wall like that. That's here in our market. It's going to fluctuate depending on where you're at and maybe how you feel that day. Exactly how you feel is very important. <laughs> so uh, there you have it. You know, do-it-yourselfers and professional painters could apply this product. It's um, very, uh, I wouldn't say just simple. I mean, it's um, user-friendly. It's user-friendly. It yeah. takes an artistic eye. Like yeah. I, I think whatever look you want, you've got to have that end goal in mind and know what you're going to be about because you've, especially if you're a professional, right? Yeah. You've shown someone a sample you should probably be able to follow through on that. Yeah, and what, what's interesting too about the product is really no two walls are the same. I mean, this wall is unique and um, you can duplicate it you know, down the road somewhere else, but it's kind of unique. It's unique to the person that you know, rolled it on, applied it and stuff. So yeah, it's absolutely, um, absolutely amazing. If you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, hit the notification bell. Um, that way you get notified next time we come out with our, one of our metallic finish coatings um, videos. We got one on suede. We got one on aluminum coatings. Um, metallic suede, aluminum. Metallic paint. Metallic yeah, the paint. Metallic aluminum paint. Thing. Metallic grit. And but we're going to be doing another one with a different effect. So we got this one right here. That was um, random rolled, random trowed. We're going to be using um, this, and I think this is your favorite effect this when it is. comes to metallic finishes. This little turf tool. You can create some nice street effect. You can do a lot of things with it. I'm sure, including back scratcher, loofa. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we got to get going um, and make some money because we're just sitting here talking and we're not making money. What? <laughs> we'll see you in our next video. Out.